Car repossessions are at their highest level in nearly two years, and they're projected to rise even further into 2024. If you want to know the truth about what's really going on, stay tuned. I've had enough of it, mate. <laughs> this Tesla right here, it's a repo. It's only got 1,500 miles. Car repossession crisis is absolutely real. I've been telling you this from the very beginning. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Cause these are all repos right here. We're seeing vast amounts of negative equity increases. Car repossession surged 23%. This smells, this smells brand new. And it's the worst it's ever been. So we have a massive problem right now. They are all repos. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a growing issue affecting a lot of drivers across the UK. And that is that car repossessions seem to be on the up. This was something I started to first notice when I was looking at stock to buy at car auctions, which we are doing every week here at Barrow Motors. As living costs rise, it would seem more and more people are falling behind on their car repayments and the numbers seem to paint a worrying picture. I've started to see a few red flags that we could be facing a real car repossession crisis going through 2024 and into 2025. The first thing that I noticed as a car dealer was the amount of cars available to buy from finance houses increasing at car auctions. Many of these cars are listed as not having the original documentation with them, so no logbook or service history. Some of them don't have current MOT and haven't for a good few months. These can all be telltale signs that the car has been repossessed or it was handed back to the finance company in what's called a voluntary termination, or VT for short. Recently, I had a chance to speak to Liam Corcoran, who is the head auctioneer at G3 Vehicle Remarketing. You would have seen me buy lots of cars via G3 in previous videos. Liam confirmed that they're seeing more repossession cars and they're getting more and more finance providers signing up to sell off their used car inventory via their auction service. We definitely more finance have stock around and um, we've, we've got some new vendors coming on board, some more finance vendors. Uh, and I think the, the finance, and finance vendors that we currently have um volumes are starting to increase but no there's definitely definitely been an influx in, in finance our stock the market did i wouldn't say it collapsed but it it did take a bit of a hit when we had the insurance issues and still think there's scope where price is going to go up again not to where we've seen sort of covid post just after post covid i think we, i don't think we'll ever see that again what's interesting is that we saw a dip in 2022 and that was due to the surge in used car prices people were able to sell their cars and avoid repossession sometimes even coming out in profit but now, as those prices stabilize, the option to sell isn't as beneficial anymore. Personally, in my car dealership, we're seeing a lot more people wanting to downgrade rather than upgrade their car. Unfortunately, the way car prices have now cooled off, they're finding themselves having a lot more negative equity than they can actually afford to pay off. Negative equity is the difference between what they owe on the car and what the car's current market value is. So you can understand why some people would feel trapped and feel like they've got no other option than to hand the car back and stop making payments on it. Repossession rates dropped to around 14% of all cars sold off by finance companies in 2022, but experts expect they'll shoot back above 50% by the end of 2024. I also spoke with Daniel Horner, who is the owner of finance broker Octane Finance. Daniel has actually set up his own used car dealership, OTM Motors, as an avenue to sell off cars that he's ended up owning again sooner than would have been expected. It was really interesting to have that conversation and find out that this is affecting everyone, including the lenders and finance brokers who are getting really inventive for the ways that they can minimize their losses. So with Octane, I've got another couple of other finance brokerages as well. We do have sort of um, a few issues with um, with dealers and lenders and we have to you know, end up taking the cars back. Um, we've now got a retail outlet for them um, as opposed to just sort of sticking them in the auction and getting trade money for them, we can now repair them and retail them. I'm sure another contributing factor is the recent hikes in insurance premiums, which are putting an extra pressure on people's finances. The average comprehensive car insurance premium now sits at over £500 annually. While an average premium of £500 a year may not sound a lot, if you add that with all the other financial pressures we're facing at the moment, the cost of living, it all adds up, and that is just an average. Certain areas are facing much higher insurance premiums. There does seem to be some regional disparities when it comes to repossession rates. For example, areas like London, where the cost of living is much higher than the rest of the country, and in fact they face some of the highest insurance premiums as well, they have been hit very hard. But this isn't just a big city issue towns have been hit hard as well. According to one report I saw, Burnley, 
and Hartlepool are being hit very hard by repossessions too. It's clear that financial pressures are being felt all across the country. Add to that the cost of living crisis that we're facing, increasing insurance premiums, and now we're facing what could look like a pretty dire budget coming from Labour this autumn as well. The UK market tends to follow the American market and they've already released some figures this year saying that their repossession rates are up by 23% across the country. So Joe, over here in the US we're seeing that repos are absolutely spiking and we're seeing that the consumer is getting weaker and weaker and weaker and what they're doing right now is they're extending all of their credit and I'm talking about not just car payments but their credit cards. So what's happening over here is that they're a record low savings rate so people have less money in their savings account to be able to spend on bills so what's happening they're stacking up their credit cards just paying all for their their daily essentials you think groceries gas rent they're putting all this stuff on their credit card and it's getting very dangerous so as they're stacking up their credit limits and they're running out of available credit well things have to get cut and what we're seeing over here in the US is that subprime borrowers have stopped paying their car bills and what that's led to is a lot of auto loan delinquencies we're seeing record numbers right now and we're seeing repos absolutely go through the roof i'm seeing it all the time here at these auctions that i go to and really these repos that are coming through the auction they're not cars that even even i want to buy and i i sell cars that are five thousand dollars and under at my lot but what we're finding from repossessions here in the u.s is that people do not take care of them because really these consumers they have money to do one thing they can either make their payments or they can fix their cars but they can't do both so all of these cars that are repossessed that are coming through these auctions are not even cars that I want to buy they're damaged they have uh, mechanical problems they are the worst of the worst of the worst of the cars that are going through the auctions so I just stay away from them but that's what I'm seeing over here I hope things are going well over there where you are as with all of these financial crises there is always the flip side which there is some opportunity so car dealers may be able to find themselves cheap stock private buyers may be able to find themselves a cheap car if someone is desperate to get out of it. If you're facing difficulties with your car payments and that's why you're watching this video, then now is the time to speak to your finance provider. Get in touch with them, let them know you're having struggles as soon as possible, and they are usually very helpful in trying to make sure that you can stay making payments however that pans out. The sooner you act, the more likely you are to avoid repossession. One thing worth noting with all of this is I'm hearing lots of reports of fraud happening as well, which is not gonna help the prices for anyone, but you need to protect yourselves when it comes to spending your money. The last thing you wanna do is buy a car that seems quite cheap, but is burdened with someone else's finance because the car will end up getting repossessed from you and you'll have lost the car and the money. In this instance, I highly recommend you use a vehicle scores history checks. Not only can you use their free reports to give you a score on a car when you're looking at buying it, but you can also use their history checks as well, which are under £10 if you use my code SHIFTINGMETAL20, and that will tell you a whole host of information from whether that car has been written off and it's got a category against it, whether it's been seen at a salvage auction but isn't recorded and it has damage that you'd want to know about. But most importantly, in this instance, whether that car still has a finance agreement against it that you will end up paying the prices for if you buy that car. As I say, their ultimate report is just £9.58 when you use the code SHIFTINGMETAL20 and it will give you a bit of peace of mind when it comes to spending your hard-earned money. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. I'd love to know if you have been facing some more financial difficulties due to increases in prices from insurance premiums to your interest rate. And let me know whether you think this is something that's going to get worse or whether things should start looking up. I honestly don't know. We're going to have to play it by ear and see what happens. On the whole, I don't think it's very good for the UK car market health, only time will tell. But that will be it for this video. I just want to share my thoughts, kind of let you know what I'm seeing in the car market as a used car dealer. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, then do subscribe to the channel. It's free to do, it really helped me out, and I'm actually giving away a £4,000 Tudor watch as well, which would be a bonus for anyone in these times. That is it for this time, I will see you in the next video.